Hey, many fish. It's the 21st of March, 2018. And we have our fourth nor'easter coming in, which is completely off the hook, abnormal, not right. And they have been spraying the skies quite diligently this past day before this storm coming up. And uh, I was just looking at it this morning, and for one, I, I see that it's named Toby, which I equate right to Tobias or Tobiah, which we can find in several places, actually. There's even a extra, or yeah, I call them extra biblical books, but we'll, okay, we'll stick with that, of Tobit, which is, you know, Tobiah. All right, so I'm looking at that. And uh, that's interesting in and of itself, but this storm, for one, just being so crazy, and I have an understanding a little bit of, you know, weather warfare and the fact that they literally dump particulates of various types into the atmosphere on a daily basis, and it has an effect on the weather, and I think they can control that to a large extent, so this storm struck me as something that needs a little extra attention and so i'm just letting you know and what really made me do it is i just looked up these couple articles and i noticed that both of them were posted at exactly 7:45 a.m this morning which this one has updated to 7:54. but isn't that strange it was 7:45, so how convenient but they're both 9-11s, and that's, this is just what my eye catches. And so I found a couple more things on this storm, and I came across this CBS News release just, uh, I don't know, an hour or so ago. And it tells us about how they are preemptively canceling thousands of flights and trains and stuff like that. But not only that, if you uh, listen to it towards the end here, they are banning commercial vehicles. In other words, if you drive a truck or you're waiting for a delivery or what have you, you're banned because it's snowing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So my spirit just tells me that they are up to something with this storm because this little graphic comes into play conveniently right at 13 seconds. And I see these numbers. And for me, it's... I read these things differently sometimes. It depends on how it hits my spirit. If it's like, you know, we can relate these things to both good and evil because we know Satan takes God's perfect numbers and words and everything and flips them into his deception. So that's how I see this. The 33 just struck me right away. 33, Masonic, of course, but you need to understand the 33 is important because until you reach at least the you know, the equivalent of a 33 degree, depending on the right or what have you, you don't get to understand the 93. And by that, I mean the 93 is the number of the lost word of the Freemason. Now, I'm not going to get into the depths of that. It just, it's important in their little language here, okay? I just, I have to leave it at that. And it's all Masonic, but when we say Masonic, we're talking about Babylonian, Egyptian, back all the way to the Fallen Ones. That's what this is. That's what it always has been. It just has a lot of names and a lot of faces. You know what I'm saying. But it's all the same. It's all the same entities. Those dark powers and principalities. And they're telegraphing something with this storm. So I'm just letting you know. I can look at this as a date very easily as 323. But we can glean many things from that. Let me just tell you that they're not, you know, favorable, I guess. So I'm just putting it out there that, you know, if you're up against the coast here, you know, for this storm, if you can sneak away for a day or two, I would. I just have a feeling they're going to use this as something for something else i don't know what or how but there's a uh, a dastardly plan behind this in my spirit and hopefully nothing at all happens i found it very interesting though 
that the false tsunami warning we got in February along the entire East Coast um, happens to be 44 days exactly from that time, which, you know, we can make several things of the 44. We can look at it in their Thelemic language, sacred number of Horus, okay? These are just things that I see that I need to show you, okay? And the fact that this whole situation that I've pointed out multiple times, when they dedicated this synagogue with the 71 seats underneath the Western Wall, Temple Mount, and on the same night burnt the incense for the first time, in 2,000 years. Important things. This is all Masonic people. It's it's just the same things, just playing it out in, in a modern way. You understand what I mean? So the bottom line is I just wanted to, to show that stuff to you because I feel that it means something. From their rituals on the Temple Mount, the 19th of December till tomorrow, 93 days, three months, three days, 22, 32 hours, 13 weeks. It's screaming a lot to me. Okay? So, I just have to put it out there. I pray that you all are safe. And if you don't know Jesus, I'm telling you, you it just this couldn't be a better time. <laughs> so do it, okay? You're going to need him for what's coming on this earth. I'm just telling you because I have to. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 